Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Scorpio weekly money and career reading from August 19th to the 25th, 2024. Scorpios, welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Scorpio weekly money and career August 19th to the 25th, 2024. Grab your best headphones, your best earbuds for a better sound as I cannot project my voice. So if the sound sounds weak or low, go for it. Bear with me. All right. Uh, there is a magic word at the end of the reading. Uh, if you're interested in putting your name in the hat for a free reading, all you have to do is put the magic word down below in the comment section and be subscribed. I will pull one name at the end of the month of August, um, as well as uh, the name for the month of June. Yes, I still um, have two free readings to announce. All right, let's get started with this Oracle card, uh, Scorpio. Let's see what hidden message, right? It's almost like a secret message or a secret vibe or information that's the root of the matter for next week. And then we'll pull tarot to connect the dots. All right, let's see what she has to say for next week. Money and Career Scorpio, August 19th through the 25th. I will be posting monthly readings. I'm not going to do live because doing monthly readings all 12 during live is a little much right now. So I, I, um, I am going to be posting them separately starting this weekend. All right. For the month of September, monthlies. All right. Let's get started. Scorpio, what is this hidden information? that we need to know for next week for Scorpio. One card, please, one card. She is thinking. <laughs> one card for Scorpio for next week, money and career. What is, what should we know? What is the root of the matter? Mother figure, partner, friendship, a feminine energy, whatever this is, can be a friend, can be a family member, mother, grandmother, sister. Uh, feminine energy here, probably a person. Okay, let's see where this is going. Uh, let's see, is there a partner there? Is there someone, a coworker or a friend that's, there for you or influencing you or important for you or that needs to deliver message or that you need to talk to or resolve something let's see the devil attached to certain ways stubbornly attached to certain ways scorpio Oh, nice. The magician. I'm almost feeling like this devil here is in, is passion for a career, a job, an idea, a new field, a new something. And you're not really talking about this. This is something that has been brewing for a while. It can be attachment to a certain way, person, scenario, contract, job. It can be that. But with the Magician, the combination with the Four of Pentacles in between leads me to say that you have been saving your money, uh, stubbornly keeping something on the down low, keeping something secret or not wanting to reveal something, not showing your emotions on this new thing that you're inspired to push forward and it's time to make it happen. All right, well, let's see where this is going. So we have the five of pentacles, which is financial frustration or the frustration that it's not going the way you want or it's not delivered the way you want or 
you're not invited to do things or you felt you need more or they didn't tell you or whatever the situation is or not enough money, whatever. But I feel like this is sort of uh, not the root of the matter, but something, a recurring, a recurring energy of not feeling not enough money or the salary is not enough or you know, they're not paying me enough or, or they're not seeing me for my value, right? Okay, let's see where this is going. And then we have, we have a lot of major arcana here. Um, we have the star, which is believing, healing. So if this is something here, a certain attachment of certain ways or being bound to a contract in a company or to a contract in a, a business or a team of people that you're working with, right? It's, it feels like you're, you're believing in more. You're believing in um, coming into your values, coming into what you want to exist with the star card. And it's also bringing you into a, uh, a smoother, calmer energy, believing in yourself, believing in yourself, Scorpio. Look at this. You have the, the chariot, determination and the magician, inspiration and determination because it's time to push forward. It's time to make it happen. It's time, Scorpio. So wh whether you believe it or not, or you believe you have all the knowledge, or you took those classes, or you have that diploma, or you have enough experience, or you're ready to set the mark and start the job and start the business, whatever it is, you have it, Scorpio. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk about it. You're sort of mulling through here, not enough money, not time yet. This is, I, I need more. I need more. To, but here it is. It's right here. I feel like you're attached to this devil here, right? You you feel comfortable attached to this devil, the old ways, the ways, uh, toxic or manipulative ways. I'm going to pull more cards on this devil because I'd like to know if this is um, a certain attachment to a toxic environment or feeling that you can't detach yourself from that or feeling that you can't go further or it's not whatever, whatever the situation is here or is it a new passion that you're transforming here because you're transforming something and you are moving forward with the chariot and successfully and you're you're bringing back balance you're settling in you know this is you know a time where you're feeling more comfortable where you're feeling more you your new self and with the chariot and the star is healing to bring you know so you can be in control and you are in control of this new new energy. Now, is this feminine energy part of the toxic situation? It is possible. Or is she part of this two of cups, this person, this soulmate, this close person to you, family, partner, friend, uh, the person you trust, the person you have those conversations with that you, that always has your back. Let's pull some cards because this two of cups and um, did I believe I did the monthly? Yes, I did the monthly reading and I'm going to post it. To, I'm going to try to post it this weekend. Um, it talks about this and this recurring person. This person has been popping up in your reading for the last couple of weeks or a month or so. Right. And and it's like a. a a breath of passion, uh, a beautiful, beautiful energy of this person coming in. So I don't know if this is a new relationship or a partnership or someone around you that is just beautiful for you and guiding you to move forward and giving you that enthusiasm again and that inspiration again to push forward. It's possible. But let's pull, um, and, and I, I feel like this Two of Cups has been popping up for a while. Uh, whether it be a relationship or or someone just really, really by your side, um, giving you the hope and the 
enthusiasm that you need again to push forward. All right, let's pull some cards. Before we get into this, I want to pull a card on the uh, on the devil. Why is the devil here? And I will pull a few cards on the uh, on the feminine energy on the dam. Okay, well there we go. We have nine of cups. So this is the desire of that passion, that wish, that magic witch, the magic switch, which, <laughs> okay, Scorpio, uh, magic witch. No, it's, it's the wish coming in. So you want that passion again. I feel like it's not an attachment to toxic. I really feel like it's an attachment to passion in a positive way where um, you want that to come in and you're bringing it in. You're bringing your new, beautiful, beautiful, passionate energy, Scorpio, the ride or die thing, which is really cool when Scorpio steps up and, excite and is excited again about a, a project, a job, an idea, or a certain team, the people, the vibe. You like the people, or you like a person you're working with, or you think they're cool, or you think they, they have great ideas, and you, you like to... You like to be part of that, and uh, it really, really boosts you and puts you on a different level of showing up, for sure, for sure. So here, I like to see that. I like to see the Nine of Cups associated to the devil, which tells me this is a new passion coming in. Beautiful, Scorpio. All right, so I have two cards that flipped over. Okay, so I'm just going to put them on here, uh, the Temperance. So... Maybe that's where the frustration comes in because it's slow moving. It's not popping in overnight. It's not, you know, the flip of the switch. No, <laughs> right? It's something in really slow moving, but slow moving in the right direction and growing in a beautiful way, in a balanced way. And you're not used to that, Scorpio. You're not used to it. You have the high highs and the low lows and everything in between is sort of a gray zone. And... Here it's coming in and it's already in. This is a slow movement towards your success, towards your passion, towards those people, towards this person, towards your idea, your business, your success, your job, whatever it is. It's a slow movement, but it's a sure movement and it's a constant movement forward. You're repairing, you're healing, you're clarifying, you're connecting. Um, you're resolving, right? And and little by little, this is bringing success. This is opening the doors to fresh air, to the big prairie. I, I was it Leo? Uh, I had a reading that was absolutely amazing where, you know, they're going into this beautiful open space of nature, like almost like um, huge green prairies with, anyway. It feels like that. It feels like the breath of fresh air. I'm not saying you're going to a big prairie, but it feels like um, um, connecting to who you are and your natural space and the people you should be with. That's what the temperance is. It's beautiful, positive messages because you are connecting step by step and resonating with the right people, with the right space, with the right energies, job, right? Whatever you're trying to make happen. And yes, there we go. You're celebrating being with the right people. And the hermit. Hermit is always there with Scorpio, if not the death card, right? It, it's, it's, you know, it's about you ever so constantly introspecting to make sure you know yourself and and overthink yourself and overthink every step of the way every thought process every decision you make what are you made of why are these changing why are why do we have these changes why do i not feel the same why 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 where what where what there i'm not going to go over the hermit again you know exactly what it is scorpio if anybody knows it is scorpio so Every step you take, every breath you take, honestly, there's the hermit, right? There is no moment in time where you don't have the, or you're not in hermit mode. Whether you show it or not, whether, whether it is a position where you are, you know, you want to be in hermit mode and you don't want to connect with the outside world anymore because you have to make a decision or you have to think of something or you're protecting yourself or whatever it is, you're always in hermit mode, Right? whether you're poker face or not. So that's probably what you don't want to talk about. You don't want to share that. You don't want to share your emotions. 
You just want things to move on and to evolve and regain that enthusiasm, that energy, and that passion. And good for you because this is what you have here. So even if you're not revealing everything and you're not talking to, to people about it, um, you're still in the process and then this is still coming in. So frustrations, yes, but determination. All right, I want to take pull one one card on the star. Oh no, on the well, I called the star. So let's see. Okay, I almost feel like this is the the five of pentacles and the star. So I'm going to put it on both, and then I'll pick some cards for I'll I'll pull some cards for the uh, magician. But yeah, four of four of cups seven of swords not trusting disconnecting uh not enough i don't like the offers this is not going fast enough this is not fun this is not passionate enough not making enough money right and that's the frustration but you have the ten of cups so right in between so even though it's not in you feel it's not enough you still have three cups right you're just the eternal frustration or disappointment that it's not supposed to be that way and it doesn't feel enough and it should be so much bigger and better and whatever, it's still your happiness. It's still bringing you balance. This is what you need to bring balance. And uh, I feel like the energies coming in that are slow, that you feel are slow-mo, that you feel are not progressing fast enough are the energies you need right now because you're still healing still trying to figure things out, um, still feeling that frustration. And I feel like the universe is throwing you things little by little because you had so much to deal with, because it has been so difficult that the reemergence or the re-energizing or the coming back into the world or, you know, um, uh, discovering yourself again and being okay with yourself again and loving yourself again and connecting to the world again and being okay with who you are and being okay with the energies you have and the energies surrounding you. The universe doesn't want to pile it up more. It piled it up so much that now it's gentle and the energies are gentle and they're slow moving for you to... Um, be comfortable again and love yourself again because it's really about loving yourself and accepting who you are in this process and that you're beautiful and you're amazing and you know how to do amazing things and this process has put you through the mill so here's happiness and balance and here's you with your still frustrations about people you don't trust or the offers that are not big enough bold enough that's not as exciting as before but I don't think it's as exciting as before for anybody right and so here you still have that determination so this person and again I feel like I've pulled this a few times this person or this entity this energy here with this two of cups is that person that is going to give you that love again that love of yourself, that love of others, um, whether this is a friend, whether this is a, a partner, a romantic partner, or a, a partner in life, in business, and you know, just all around someone that's there for you. Um, it's a very important piece of the puzzle that has been popping up for a little while now. All right, let's see the chariot. What's the chariot all about? And then we will pull some cards on this Two of Cups. But I want to take another another deck for the Two of Cups. I feel like this person here, feminine energy. And again, it, it, it can be a woman, but it doesn't have to be. It just has a, a real feminine vibe of friendship and being there for one and another for one another and uh, really an overall empathy and generosity and a feeling of nurturing someone that's nurturing you whoever it is doesn't have to be a woman or a uh, no all right i feel like i talk too much though on this am i taking these Okay, all right, lots of cards, lots of cards. All right, so we have the four of, four of wands, celebrating, 
and, and, and stabilizing in a certain comfort zone or with family or in the right space, in the space you feel comfortable in. And here you have the three of pentacles. You're starting something new. You're joining a team. You're building a business. You're part of a new job. You're part of a new company. You're, you're building something. You're building your own business or you're developing your own project, but you're not alone. And it's a change. It's a big change. Having to make a decision and going slowly planning slowly, strategizing, but moving forward step by step, organizing yourself and, and, and building this, but in a slow, slow movement. And, um, and again, the four of pentacles, this is not something you want to talk about. You don't, you're, you're, you really don't want to exchange anything on this. You're very closed off on this, whether this is a new idea or, you know, a career move, or, you know, maybe something you want to, maybe you want to move because you have the judgment, right? And so the judgment is about, um, a change of destiny and a big, big decision. Whatever this decision is, and there's that crossroads, right? That two of swords where you're not talking about this, but you do feel you're at a crossroads. You do feel like you have to make a decision. You've been stagnant or in a place where you know you want to move forward on something else or you know you want to find something else. You know you want a new energy, right? And and so it's slow moving, but it is moving. And there is that major decision here Um but I feel like this decision has already been made, right? With this chariot here, I feel like the decision has already been made and you're ready. And the chariot is about movement forward, progress forward. Doesn't matter what people think, you're moving forward. Everybody get out of the way of Scorpio. Scorpio is ready. And Scorpio is ready, you know, like ready or not, Scorpio is going to do it. Ready or not, uh, Scorpio can even do it on its own. It's okay if people don't agree. It's okay if people feel it's weird. It's okay. What All that is okay. And I feel like that's pure determination that you're getting with this Two of Cups, with this new person, this new vibe, this new entity that is in your life or coming in your life. I'm going to pull... Um, I'm going to use this, the third deck for the two of cups, because I want to know what, who is this for Scorpio? Who is this two of cups changing your world, changing, finally getting you back into the world with a beautiful, beautiful energy, uh, finding your stability, finding your happiness, knowing where you stand and whether or not these are big decisions in your life that you already made or that you're ready to make it's because of this person that's sort of guiding you holding you cherishing you telling you that you are a beautiful being why do we have the two of cups are you seeing this person? We have this Four of Cups again. Why is the Two of Cups here? Why are you still disappointed? Are you disappointed in this person that is showing up in your life? Or are you just not seeing this person or this energy or this entity? Why is the Two of Cups here for Scorpio? Am I taking this? I'm not quite sure. I will see. All right. Why is this... No, too many cards. Why is the Two of Cups here for Scorpio? Who is this person? What is this energy of Two of Cups that keeps coming up? And these cards are... It's also me being a little clumsy. Two of Cups. All right, I'll take that. If it's a lot, it's a lot. And I have one card that came out. I don't want to... Okay, so it's a tower moment where you're disappointed disappointed in someone oh but look at that Scorpio it feels like wow wow okay let me try to unpack this and this and the other one was the ace of swords 
Okay. So, back to our five of pentacles. Not enough. Uh, disappointed in someone or a situation or disappointed in the progress of things. You're done. You don't want to do that anymore. And you have a tower moment, right? You don't have the death card. You have a tower moment. So, it's almost like it's time to get out of this, Scorpio. It's time to get out of this. Because this disappointment of... Um, feeling that people don't have your back or are not listening to you or not there for you and the people that should be there for you are not and the people maybe that you don't accept are okay all right well that's the energy right but I feel like whatever is happening or whatever has happened with a person with you a dynamic in a job in your family a friend your relationship your your significant other whatever there's clarity over that. Some circumstance, whatever it is, whether it's a conversation or a moment in time where you're pure, you're starting to understand and you're starting to put the pieces together. So almost like if it's a family dynamic and it's been difficult for you and um, whatever, people are don't, you're not agreeing or you're not in the same space and the communication is difficult and uh, whatever, or it's your partner, right? Or, or it's your job or it's all of the above, right? Maybe it's a sense of it's too much and it's too much to deal with. And, um, uh, and at one point you just want to be happy and you just want to be in your place and move forward in your energy. And you feel like other people are, you know, there's always, there's constantly something that a hurdle, right, to jump, that's difficult to jump. Yeah, okay. And so <coughs> here with the tower, it's finally you. Let me grab a little drink. <clears throat> the tower is a moment of awareness, of clarity, of where you stand. And what the situation is. And this is where you stand. And this is who you are. And that's what your life is. And that's what you want. So whether it is to protect yourself. Or to open up to the world. Or to finally communicate what is going on. Or finally communicate with that person. Or finally communicate to move forward on a career basis. On what you really want to do. It is, this is a money and career reading. But you know that these readings are all around energy readings about you, um, your soul, your heart, your mind, and what you're going through. So uh, even if it's money and career, it's all about you. And here it's a moment where you get it. You get it. There's certain people that are there for you, certain people that are not, certain people that will agree with you, certain people that were not, and that are not. And sometimes it's harsh decisions, and sometimes it doesn't make sense to people, but it's okay for you to protect yourself and to love yourself and to put you in that space of love and, um, uh, yeah, a love environment and a positive energy and accepting. It's almost like a process. And it has been a process, Scorpio, for many, many months and years. And here we are again. But I feel like it is an entanglement that has been going on for a while. Comment down below. Let me know what this is all about. But whatever it is that you're going through or that you have been going through, love and light to you. I don't take any of these readings lightly ever. Um, it is a moment of truth and a moment of understanding who you are and where you fit in the puzzle. And here you go. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, and the Sun. It doesn't get better than that. The Sun, love, happiness, warm energies, positive energies because you're getting an offer and not only are you finding clarity but it's sort of it's a pure revelation to you a pure pure revelation of shifting changing directions thinking differently 
but also having clarity of mind. There's money coming in, there's an offer, a job offer, um, maybe a business opportunity or money that is owed to you or money coming in that's really satisfying you and putting you in a good space. Now, of course, money for Scorpio is important and money makes Scorpio happy, right? And no matter what, <laughs> it's almost like the world can be crumbling down and Scorpio can have had the worst day, right? Or really not seeing or understanding what their next step is gonna be. If there's money coming in, uh, that is the miracle that makes everything okay. And here's the sun, right? Vitality, success, positivity, it's fun. It's warm energies. The sun represents success, Scorpio. Radiance, abundance moving forward in a beautiful way were you radiating your positive energies that passion you're looking for that excitement that new high that you haven't had maybe in a while that's giving you the strength and the money here the finances the offer whatever it is it it's just telling you that no matter where you go or what you decide or this positive energy is going to push you forward it's with you it's going to follow you and it's going to be bring you that that stability and that happiness that you're looking for right connecting to the right people because you're you're seeing the bright side and i know it's cliche and i know no one wants to hear that but it's all about bringing warmth to other people warmth to yourself and this warm energy will get you through tough times and help you succeed so if you're doubting right you're also in a position where you you're going to share your highest qualities, your highest achievements, your knowledge with others. So radiate who you are, Scorpio. Radiate who you stand for. Shine your love to those people you care about and shine your love to those people that care about you. And if it's in difficult times, the sun brings you the message that you've been waiting for that things will get better. And through the challenges along your path, you are discovering who you are still, Scorpio, and what your purpose is, because I feel like it keeps changing, it keeps evolving. And um, you can be full of energy now. Your confidence is going to be boosted. Everything's gonna work out, Scorpio. But it is a moment where you have to realize that you are who you are and you're in the right space and you're choosing for you. You're choosing to be you and you're choosing for you, not for others. And that is a lesson that I have repeated a million times on this channel where you are not here for others to absorb, you know, for you to absorb other people's energies. You are here for you and to shine your energies, your love, your knowledge, your talent and your beauty. I feel like I want to pull one more card here with this one. All right, one last lesson message for the road for Scorpio. Money and career, August 19th to the 25th, 2024. Scorpio. <laughs> Goodness, I almost feel like I want to keep it on that. Oh my goodness. All right. Five of five of pentacles, three of swords, and four of swords. Take a break. Take a time out, Scorpio. Whatever you need, a weekend or just relaxing. Take a moment for yourself because it's been a long haul. Frustration, frustration, frustration. All right, let's see where this is taking us. Take a time out. You're protecting yourself from your family, from your friends. That's okay, but you're gonna be celebrating. 
There's a King of Wands here, Aries Leo Sag, that's gonna offer you something. There's an offer there. There's a job offer, a financial offer, um, that is going to probably change things, or at least there's money coming in and that's going to project you into this uh, new energy here, the sun, the ace of pentacles and the ace of swords and this page of pentacles is all about you being excited again excited again right something new is coming in and these finances are going to boost you in the right direction so if you're in the dumps or if you're feeling you know frustrated or whatever the situation is just know that the sun is shining and it's coming in Scorpio. I hope you enjoyed this reading. My oh my, look at all these cards I, I pulled. Um, I, I hope that you are okay and uh, thank you for being here. Um, I want to say that the magic word here is believe. Scorpio, believe. Believe in your magic touch. Whatever it is you want to put down below in the comment section, if you wish to put your name in the hat for a free reading, believe in your magic touch or believe will be the magic word. Um, thank you, Scorpios. Thank you to each and every one from the bottom of my heart. Um, gratitude to all for watching this channel, for being here, for me, for this channel, for supporting these energies and these readings. Thank you. If you wish to, if you're in the mood, if you're in the mood to help this channel <coughs> uh, and support this channel, you can click the join button. Uh, that'll take you wherever you wish to go and um, it supports the channel, but it's also going to give you access to a free question during lives, lives that we do every Sunday at 12 noon or 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I uh, hope you can join us uh, and would love to have you. Um, as part of the card minds energy base thank you so much for watching scorpios have a great week take care bye bye